Hey, Axel here. That's Caleb. We're filming. In the studio. Hey. Am I in here? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Where would you like to begin? Chris um, is our DP for yeah, this shoot. Like and, he said. and he has a Deadpool hat that this he's not wearing today Batman that I love. Hat. Yes. I'm Griffin Electric. I set up lights. I'm doing audio today, uh, so we'll recording. It, so but if anything also, sounds bad, it's me. Um, I'm sorry. But Kate also writes and directs yeah, and does everything. The same with Landon in the back. <laughs> The same with Jacqueline. Jacqueline has a film that we worked, Ghost. That film so, was made by Jacqueline. Uh, so we'll put... <laughs> Let's see people over here. Panel. Introductions. Okay, I'm Caleb Wilson, the assistant director uh, for this project. <laughs> I'm Emily Holmes, the art design <laughs> for this project. And makeup girl. We'll put yes. it up. And Emily is going to be an Air Force pilot. Navy! Excellent. Well, Navy pilot. <laughs> My name is Lynn Early. I'm basically running this whole uh, operation here today. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, is I take the lenses, as you see right here, and the DP says, hey, you need to change lenses. And I would say, what lens? And he'd say, I don't know, for example, the 85 millimeter. And I would take this off and get an 85 millimeter and come back and put it on, and then we'd be ready to go. And Erin, I'm Actually, sorry that I'm holding the camera. Oh, it's okay. Hi, I'm here. Uh -huh. Emily here is gonna pull off some crazy makeup to make Erin look amazing, like she's from another planet or something. Dude, I had a high school teacher, biology teacher. What? You should give it a kiss. Like, this is my no. dead wife. No, <laughs> I still keep the skull here. Yeah. So you, you're the new maid. So you're so you're the new maid. I prefer the term housekeeper, but what happened here? Look at this skull. Look at that. Dude, they, they Something would, really yeah, happened. They, There's a rumor that when you graduate, you could take one thing from this room. What would you take? Axel. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm taking me already. I'm no, taking Axel. I, I call it, it. No, Axel. I just call it now. So, and then if I what, get the red, I take the red with me, and then we're all set. Okay. So, okay, so you got the red. What am I taking? What should I take? If we can. The lenses. Dude, I'm, what about. That jib, you're barely going to use that. Get the you're lenses. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll take the lenses. What are you going to take? Okay, definitely that. <laughs> That curve, the, the crane, forklift. the forklift. Is that a forklift? What is that called? It's That's lift. just a lift. Just a lift. I will take the lift. Can, okay, can you imagine so. pulling up to my first job interview in a yeah. lift? So, so I we get can it. get on that with the red and the lenses, and we can shoot from wherever you drive. Yeah. Jeff Sawyer, if you're watching this, <laughs> we get now you things. know. <laughs> well, if your lift is gone, you know who has it, and who's having a great time with it. to the remembering. Yeah, we need to get sound ready first. So like we're doing just the whole thing over again. Mm -hmm. okay. We're just done recording the first part at the studio it was the hardest part, but it was really good. This is the part that no one talks about. When you're making movies, you have to carry a bunch of stuff. Like cameras. This stuff is heavy. Okay, we got something to eat, and now we're driving to the next location. And Caleb was just showing us his Japanese crackers. Okay. Meiji. Meiji. You're cute. Yeah, okay. Do you ever climb those birdhouses? Vanilla. <laughs> came, like, the whole pretty good. So Caleb, how many Japanese words have you learned already? Orinonomaiwa Caleb des. I just said my name is Caleb, introducing myself in Japanese. Caleb is going in the summer, no, next year. Next in summer. August, August. Yeah, in August he's going to Japan. It's a very exciting trip, gonna be studying one year abroad, learning Language, culture, meeting new people, very exciting stuff. I want to go to Japan too. Okay, we made it to the second location. Okay, so like the shots of her 
um, with my mom. Does she need to have two different outfits or no? Like, you know how she like fixes the pillows and the other yeah. one when she comes in, does she need to have two different outfits or should we just do one outfit for that? I think we can do the same. We can do that one outfit. the same scene because the mom is going to have the same and it's going to be yeah, the same Yeah, okay. Thing. And then also the shots of her with Kyle in the bedroom. For those, we need two outfits because okay. one is the two of them and, and the then you have another her. one by herself. Okay. And then the two shots of the gazebo or at the gazebo and then the overlook, are those two different shots too? Or two different outfits? They could one? be one. Okay. That's up to you because it's pretty much the same moment yeah. or do you want it to be a different moment well, in your relationship? How just like it did, there was look? different like, like sh I used like one close up and one of the like parts with the, the voiceover and then one close up and another part. They can have the same outfit on, like that's fine. It would just be them in a different location. Okay, yeah. Same outfit okay. works for me. So we'll do this one for up there. Okay. So it's really pretty. And then we'll use, so we won't use this. Okay. <laughs> and then. <laughs> look at this joker. Like, okay, and then we'll have two different outfits right there and then we'll have to like walk the outfits here. So like. We're here live on set. This is my, this is my camera, and <laughs> this is. No, I'm, huh? Axel. I'm Axel. Someone. Um, do we need her to change her clothes? Which one? Uh, For the pillow thing? Yeah. No. Everyone's just wandering around. Hey, Axel. I'm Axel. This is Axel. I'm Axel. I'm Axel as well. <laughs> you are Axel. We're all Axel. Doing the last scene, pretty much the last scene, la second to last. I mean, there's so many different things we can do. So guys, I'm just gonna give you directions okay. like off the cuff. Okay. So, play. Okay, Erin, come over here. Okay, so we got to the last location. Take a look at this. Whoa. Okay, so we're done. How do you feel about it, Aaron? Okay, Megan, we're done. How do you feel? I feel so good. It looks really good, guys. It's amazing. Definitely my vision, for sure. Yeah. Megan came up with this story, and we work on the script together. I was inspired one time when I was laying in a tanning bed, and all the lights went off, and there was this mirror in front of me, and um, this light or this uh, instrumental song was playing in my ears, and I just envisioned this girl looking in this mirror, like looking at herself, and like her whole life going in front of her, like passing through her. So. That was the inspiration, and then we kind of worked together, collaborated, and figured out yeah. the script. In the first version, it was a little bit dark, like a bunch of people died, so we kind of changed that a little bit. And when I read the story, the one thing that I got from it that I wanted to tell was this girl living without regrets. Living your life like to the best that you can live. And that's kind of what we want to, like what I wanted to talk about in, in the story. So you should, Try to live whatever you can have in your life and just do it without regrets and just do your best. Yeah, cool. there we go. Thank you. Bye.